home inspection checklist. Hey, Jeannie Steele here with J Steele Realty. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about the home inspection checklist. If you're looking to buy real property in Western Montana, Broadwater County, Lewis and Clark County, Silver Bow County, Jefferson County, Gallatin County, and Mark County, we have you covered. What is a home inspection? What are they looking for? Well, let's talk about that right now. If you're purchasing a home, you should really always have an inspection done. Hiring a professional inspector is having a third party that's removed. Check it out, there's no emotion. They look at things differently than you and I would. There is no pass or fail in a home inspection. Many people think that they are, but there is no pass or fail. It's simply information so you can make the best decision for yourself. The inspector is going to look at everything they possibly can look at. They're gonna get up on the roof and check that out. Now, sometimes in the winter when there is snow and ice, they can't get on the roof, but most of the time they can. They're gonna look at the siding, the windows, the plumbing, the electrical, the appliance. If there's a crawl space, even if it's a tiny short one, they'll crawl down in there and check it out. Yuck, I don't wanna go down there, spider webs, that's nasty. They'll also check in the attic. They will check out everything. Some of them even have these really cool thermal guns and they can see how much insulation is. If there's enough insulation, they can see if the bat has slipped down into the wall or if it's still intact. At the end of all of this, they will take pictures. They take pictures of everything and then they will compile it all into a huge report. Sometimes these reports are 40, 50, 60 pages long. This report will tell exactly everything that they found, the good, the bad and the ugly. When you get the report, you can read it over and you can decide, do I want this house? Can I live in this house? Or is this just not the right house for me? There's just too many repairs or deferred maintenance. If there's items in the report that you can't live with, you can go back to the seller and you can say, hey, this was broken while you were living here. Do you think you could fix this? Or could you reduce the purchase price so I can fix it after closing? So just what sort of things should you be checking? What should your inspection checklist look like? What things will the inspector be looking for? Well, the inspector will start outside and he'll check out the roof and the siding, the windows. They'll check out the grounds around the property. In the kitchen, they will check the appliances, the refrigerator, the range, the dishwasher, the garbage disposal. They will check out the structure of the house and they'll note if there's any cracks in the ceilings or the walls and they'll tell you whether they think that it's just settling or if there's a major problem. They will look for water damage. They'll check underneath the sinks in the kitchen and in the bathroom. They'll check the corners in the, in the bathroom by where the showers and tubs are. They'll check out the windows and they'll look to see if the seals are good and they'll make sure that there's no condensation between them. So there you have it. That's what goes on when an inspector checks out the property. So do you have your own checklist, things that you want to check out about the property, things that you are curious about? Well, it's okay if you don't have a checklist. I have one. And you can click the link below, pop over to my website, and download your free checklist for your home inspection. If you have any questions about inspections or anything else, you can call, text, or email. I'm Jeannie Steele with J. Steele Realty, your real estate professional. Talk to you soon.